Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. Last time we made our way to Hoto, and uh, we heard that there's some sort of beast that we need to kill. Which is shocking that, you know, Miko wants us to kill it, considering more than likely she actually is that beast. Yeah, they just rip these quests wholesale from Dragon Warrior 3, it seems. Oh, yeah. Doubts are clouding my heart, too. Gotta say. Oh, well, thanks. Okay. So, yeah, let's just uh, get on out of here. And actually, what I want to do is zoom over to the Hoto Step campsite just to make things a little bit quicker. You may recall that here on the Hoto Step, there are um, a couple of... Let's see, let me do it this way. Yeah, there's a couple of um, treasures out here that we saw the last time that we were here, way back in the world of balance. Um, but we were never actually able to grab those treasure chests. But now we can, since we're in the world of ruin. We just need to go on down here, and there should be a little... There it is, yeah. That bee enemy over here. So let's go ahead and uh, bash the crap out of this guy and steal his mount. Yikes! Midnight Quirk Knights. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. You know what? We have some new stuff. I, I guess we can just go ahead and show off some of this other stuff. Uh, let's uh, show off this. Why not? Oh, cool. Ooh, and it blinds them, too. Huh. I like how Silvando has access to pretty much every status ailment in the game. That's pretty nice. You know, it makes them just a bit more versatile than a Hustle Dance user, because that's pretty much what I've been using him as. If you were to use Eric in your party, I would definitely recommend having Silvando in your party, too, to put all those status ailments, and then Eric to, um, you know, take advantage of that. Hey, awesome. Okay, perfect. Let's get on this thing. Okay, so we've... Ooh, another shiny! Yeah, a lot of shinies around here, but they're all the same things as the shinies that we've had before, that we've seen before. Except for all the new islands that we can go to, where there's plenty of other little shinies around. Yikes! Yeah, I've pretty much figured that if the enemies are the same thing that we've seen before, I don't care. Like, all these vicious enemies and everything, they're pretty much the same thing, just upgraded attack power, second level spells, you know? It's really nothing new. Can I get up there? Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Get up there! Woohoo! Okay, perfect. Okay, get another enchanted stone. And let's go this way. There we are. Uh, what do I want to go to now? There's an island over here to the north. That, yeah, there's a shiny over there, so I'll go ahead and grab that. And what do we have? Ooh, an ethereal stone. And then down here is the uh, aforementioned treasure. But apparently I can't go underneath that bridge. Okay, whatever. Yeah, this treasure has been taunting me since the very beginning of the game. Ooh. All that for some molten globules? All that for some crafting material? Seriously, game? Seriously? Oh, well. So we got all the um, stuff that we can get over here in the Hoto Sep. So let's move on to Mount Fuji. I'm an idiot, and I went inside of Hoto instead of Mount Fuji. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Hoto's over here, or Mount Fuji, I should say, is over here. Yeah. I wonder if we can read this sign. Oh. Okay. Yeah, there's supposedly some sort of, like, beast blocking the way to the other beast further in. And I have very, very sharp claws. If you do not 
want to be torn to pieces, you had better get out of here! We're going nowhere. Not until you promise to stop bullying innocent monks and let the villagers climb the mountain. Huh? Um, was it something I said? Sh shouldn't they be running away? Wha what are we going to do? Shut up, idiot! They will hear us! How are we going to scare them away if you keep jabbering? This is all your fault, Aptico. Now we are in trouble. Shut up, Apto. If you had not fallen over, we would never have ended up in this mess. <laughs> so much for our big, scary monster. It's just a couple of little ones. You surprised us, darlings. Foolish children. What possessed you to risk your lives with such recklessness? No, we never meant it. <clears throat> we have done no wrong. Miko's right has to be stopped. A tragedy looms. Yes, yes! You have to listen to my brother. Miko wants to do a horrible thing and we have to stop her. Seems these bairns have got a bee in their bonnet about something. We'd better get to the bottom of this. You will hear us out. Other grown-ups ignore us, as mountains do rain. Do you really think they will? Is someone finally going to listen to us? I think so. And they seem very strong. With them on our side, people are sure to listen. Hmm. <laughs> We have a hideout. A den, like a fox's home. We will meet you there. Hurry, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever mentioned how much I hate kids in JRPGs? There is a reason for it. So can we just ignore them and go through this gate? Oh. No, we can't! Yeah. We have to follow these stupid frickin' kids. <sighs> well, at least they're onto Miko, too. I mean, I'm totally onto her, but just because, you know, I've been onto her since 1991. What do you want from me? Hooray! You are... <clears throat> Thank you for coming. We have been awaiting you. As seeds await spring. These people, my son. The travelers you spoke of? Light in the darkness? Yes, mother. They came. The ones who did not treat us as horses treat flies. You said you were trying to stop the right. Why would you wish to do so? The right is sacred. Or so we have long been taught. But this is just wrong. To appease the gods, a sacrifice will be made. Our own dear mother. <sighs> Human sacrifice? Oh my! This right is just not right. Miko gathered us. She made a grave pronouncement. A great shadow fell. In happier times, we offered up fruit, silk, corn. But those days are gone. Without sacrifice, living flame will consume us. The volcanoes rage. <sighs> the Lord of Shadows has got a lot to answer for. I was selected. A gift for the volcano. A live offering. But why me? Why now? It was the mountain that chose. Or so Miko said. Mother gave us life. So we had to fight for hers. It is our duty. 
A noble cause indeed. I see now why you did what you did. For the whole tree's sake, one leaf falls into the flames. Perhaps I should go. No! Do not say that! You know your sacrifice is just an excuse! A few short days passed. Our mother saw Miko go, where she should not be. Miko learned of this. She now wants the truth buried. A mother also. She hides a secret, up there on the mountainside. Why else would she go? It certainly sounds like something fishes afoot. Maybe the lad is right. It can't hurt to take a look, at least. <gasps> you will take us there. This is music to our ears, as sweet as birdsong. Beyond this ladder, a path leads into darkness. The volcano's heart. Okay. Huh. So basically, she's offering live sacrifices now to this dragon. Huh. Yeah. I also just think it's interesting that in Dragon Warrior 3, the priestess's name was Him Himiko. And here it's Miko. So they're really not even trying to hide the fact that they stole this. Okay, we're here at the secret entrance. Huh, no enemies around or anything. Oh, they're like sleeping over there. We need to deal with those lava lamps anyway. Yoiks! Bam! Slick slimes! I kind of thought that they were metal babbles. They look like metal babbles. This is what they do. They cast the oil status ailment on us. Okay. Um, that's completely useless because sometimes we're gonna kill them before they can actually cast any sort of fire spell on us. Did I do all right? You didn't do anything, Serena. Okay, let's go after this guy as well. Yeah, we actually have new enemies in here. You know, you get a new area, you get new enemies. I approve. Let's use our crushed ice. Oh, but it's single target. Okay. Um, well, yeah, let's not use crushed ice. Crushed ice is kind of like multi thrust, except that it's ice elemental, and it's very good in here because these guys are weak to ice. Too bad it's single target, though. Huh. Uh, let's see what I want to use with you. We'll try this, just because it's different. Oh, wow. Hits three times and it pretty much acts as a dispel ability. That's kind of cool. Oh, you can't use any abilities? Seriously. Okay, whatever, just kill this guy. Wow. Oh, uh, you know what? You have ice elemental spells, could crack, and it's all hitting. Yeah. Whoa! Look at that damage. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Woohoo! Yeah, finished up that quest as well. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Okay, so that's all the new enemies in here, I believe. Let's see. Still see more of those. More lamps. Okay. Perfect. End it seems. All twists and turns exhausted. The path leads nowhere. Oof. Well, it's a shame and all, but how about we get out of here? I don't know about you, but I'm sweating like a. <gasps> what in the world was that? It didn't sound good, whatever it was. Down there! Look! <gasps> t t Tatsunaga! 
Tatsunaga, the beast Miko spoke of. But did she not claim to have slain it? This is her secret. She did not beat the dragon. She left it to live. That liar, that cheat. Mother will not die for this. Miko must be stopped. Let us hurry back. The people deserve to know. The truth must be told. Okay, so yeah, we're done here. I got my quest done, so let's just head on back to Hoto. Okay, so I guess we just need to tell all the uh, townsfolk that, you know, Miko is a liar. She's actually the dragon, or at least she let the dragon live. Because wasn't she supposed to go there and, um, you know, kill it? But also, let's go and uh, turn this thing into. Aria? If you say so. Oh! Oh, that's actually kind of nice of you. Really? Okay, maybe it's not so nice of you. <laughs> okay, so that was easy enough. You know what, I was looking at the quest list, and there's actually another quest over in um, Galopolis now that we can do as well. So, eh, we'll, we'll end up getting all these quests done eventually. We'll, we'll get them done definitely before the World of Ruin is done. We only have a couple more left to do, like maybe five total, if that. You must be like a spring breeze, not a howling gale. I will not be still. I will howl it to heaven. Tatsunaga lives. <sighs> what nonsense he speaks. Tatsunaga is no more. Miko told us so. No, the creature lives. It roars and howls in its lair, loud as the mountain. <sighs> You lie, wretched child. A beast blocks the way upward. You could not have passed. Ha! I am the beast. The unholy fiend you feared? Me and my sister. What? We took our mother and sought to keep you from her with a bold disguise. Idiot children. Your games will see us all killed by the mountain's rage. Ha! Why believe you? You whose tales of bold conquest were naught but hot air. The beast was not slain. You gave away our futures to save your own skin. Snake, devil, spider. You seek not sacrifices. You seek dragon food. Your scheme lies exposed. Your bargain with the dragon will not save you now. And what of you, hmm? The son who fought beside you. Was his soul sold too? Enough! <gasps> Hush, mewling kitten. What do you know of the truth? Of sacrifices? <laughs> Can it truly be? The dragon's death a facade? Dislodged by the breeze? If so, why all this? Why sate the mountain's anger? We die anyway. Silence! The dragon is gone. My beloved son slew him and paid with his life. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> now, meddling brat, test the mountain's wrath no more. You risk all our lives. Bring forth your mother. The flames burn ever stronger while our time grows short. You shall not have her. I see through your web of lies. A cursed spider. <gasps> no. Come quickly. That's 
Tsunaga! I'm a dragon! It is but a boy! <gasps> Mistress Miko! To sate your hunger, I give up my mortal form. The fox feeds her cub. By a thread. We must fight fire with cold steel. You must face the beast. <clears throat> Holy crap! He killed Miko! You bastard! But can we kill Tatsunaga? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day. Which to speak with?